Hello and welcome to my 49th video introducing my book Debugging Shakespeare. In the last video we looked at the comparison of biographies for the botanist John Gerard of Nantwich with that of Sir John Garrard of Dorney Court. In this video we're going to take a closer look at Sir John Garrard of Dorney Court and his close family association with William Lambard of Eyton Moat together with his alleged son Sir Moulton Lambard. We are told that the very suspiciously named antiquarian William Lambard was married to a lady by the name of Jane Moulton. Suspicious because the name Lambard includes both the words lamb and bard and is made even more so because the word Moulton is close enough to the word mutton to instantly be recognised as such, especially if handwritten. From earlier videos, you will have learned that the town of Alborough in Holderness, Yorkshire, is likely in some way associated with the Bard and his father. It is a little too coincidental that William Lambard, therefore, happens to have been an MP for Alborough from 1563 to 1567. He also founded almshouses in East Greenwich in 1576, was appointed Keeper of the Rolls by Lord Chancellor Sir Thomas Edgerton, in 1597 and just a few years later supposedly made keeper of the records in the tower by Queen Elizabeth herself. From earlier videos viewers of this channel will have noted that frequent allusions to sheep, viewers and lambs that the bard seemingly liked to use. It should come as little surprise therefore that the Lambard family coat of arms has an upturned chevron surrounded by three lambs as can be seen on this portrait. Lombard's house, Item Moat, was originally built in the 14th century, is a moated property which was purchased in 1591 by Sir William Selby from a Mr Charles Allen. William Selby's supposed nephew, also called William Selby, was married to a wife named Dorothy. There is a tradition that Dorothy Selby helped in somehow revealing the gunpowder plot via her embroidery skills. She is said to have died of blood poisoning following a prick from a needle. I believe, however, that this story is simply another allusion to the witch's chant by the pricking of my thumbs in Shakespeare's play Macbeth. William Lambard was supposedly encouraged to publish his book called Archaeonomia by another antiquarian, Lawrence Knoll, allegedly from Wally in Lancashire who had spent much time travelling Europe with Lambard, collecting old manuscripts, and was allegedly a tutor to Edward de Vere, living at William Cecil's house. I believe that Noel, Lambard, Sir John Garrard and John Gerard were actually one and the same. I also think that Sir Moulton Garrard was not really a son of Sir John, but was just another alias name. If you watch my series of videos from the beginning, you will discover even more. Thank you for watching. There will be many more videos like this in the near future. The only way to get a full appreciation of who the Bard really was is to buy my book. It is available only on Shopify. Please scan the QR code shown with your mobile and you will have a direct link to Shopify. Thank you.